you got this. <laughs> you know, it doesn't be long, is it? But I can cut it like maybe a half a second. <laughs> so here we go. Some more. I honestly did not know what to begin or what to say or write because there's so much amazing things to say about you. And how all this began. Since the beginning when God and life placed us in the same path, I began to wonder what it would like, what it would be like to spend significant time with you but just a single glance and say hello. I smile or just talk about the job that we covered. I then might find myself looking for the days when we would work together and hope to speak, to, speak, me, to speak more and more and to be able to speak more than times, spend more time with you. I remember the days when we would speak about anything and everything and as we only have today to share. We would talk and talk and not care who was around. So focused on what we what you had to say and you and what I had to say. It was like those scenes in a movie where the music plays and the two of us laugh and talk and look at each other while the audience <laughs> cannot hear what is being said but can see the beautiful connection between the two of us. But when life separated us and you left us and moved so I got a job in my day moved to Southern California. I kept wondering if I would ever see you again. <coughs> Time passed by and wonder, wondering always seemed to be my best friend, reminding me if I ever see you again. Time continued to pass and the thoughts of those glances, smiles, and conversations would flutter my mind. But finally, in 2019, after your birthday, it all changed, and we spoke again. Right then and there, I knew that I wanted this ex-coworker <laughs> to be more than our conversations on the phone. Excuse me. To be more than our conversations on the phone never seemed to be enough. The long drives from San Jose to the Altamont <laughs> never seen too long for to be done. I look for the halls and wait finally I know I knew I was going to leave in the I was going to come to the Then in November 2nd a decision was made when finally I had you in front of me. And when I for that kid, that I had here for so long. That kid doesn't change at all. And then I, I vowed to be the best, to do the best to take care of you in every need, struggle, doubt, sadness, and happiness. I vow to be here for you, to listen, encourage, and support you. I promise to work on the things that affect you and fix them. I promise to be the man you fell in love with and chose. I promise to be that man you want and desire. I promise to watch my tone and over my voice. Mm -hmm. I promise to always I look at you with, those, with love and desire. I promise to never, ever give my hands to myself, even when the are <laughs> walking. I promise to do my best to make, make you smile, even if I have to tell a cheesy dad joke, which I have to I promise to cheer you on, support you, your dreams, and your goals. I promise to always protect you from harm and never to be the one to harm you with words, looks, or anything in that way. I promise to stay by you through it all and they all together. Shaneda, at one point, 
our love was strong than I ever, I never ever want to be right. I am nothing without you. I am more than myself because of the care and love you have always shown me. I vow to work on always being the man I see now in your eyes, today, tomorrow, and by myself. I love you, woman. <laughs> <laughs>